If you lived in DC in the 1960s, you probably became all too familiar with rats. Rats were a genuine public health crisis in the district, but not all DC residents were affected evenly. Black Washingtonians claimed that the city was neglecting rat patrols in their neighborhoods. Just one more example of how the city discriminated against its black residents. Overcrowding, excessive rents, and now a rodent problem? And that's where Julius Hobson came in. Hobson was a civil rights firebrand known for his unorthodox and confrontational tactics. In July of 1964, Hobson declared his intention to pursue the most unreasonable and drastic programs possible to fight for better housing in black neighborhoods. And that included doing something about the rats. Hobson announced that if the city wouldn't institute rat patrols in the black neighborhoods, he would. But instead of killing the rats he caught, he would take them to Georgetown and release them. A DC problem usually is not a problem until it is a white problem, wrote one reporter. So Hobson would make it one. Thus began Julius Hobson's rat relocation rallies. He drove through Georgetown with a cage on the roof of his famous station wagon. In the cage, he displayed his rodents. Possum-sized, said a reporter. The legend grew. The rat car became a rat caravan, and Hobson even claimed to have chicken coops of rats, which he would let loose if the city didn't act. So the city stepped up rat patrols in Northeast DC, which was good for Hobson, who never had more than about 10 rats. Some called it a hoax, but Hobson called it psychological warfare. We are like Spartacus' army, broken sword, no resources against the Roman legions. And I like to fight that way. I don't know about you. <laughs> if you like this story and want to learn more about DC history, check out our Boundary Stones playlist and subscribe to WETA PBS on YouTube.